after a lot of talking to clients, watching clients, seeing their consistency, seeing them succeed, seeing them fall off and not get back on or take years to get back on, I figured out a little something. And it's this. I know you're expecting me to say, well, here's this new workout. It's just, it just crushes. It just gets results faster than anything possible or this new diet or maybe a combination of diet and exercise, but that ain't it. Welcome to the Legendary Life Podcast, where it's all about taking control of your health, losing fat, transforming your body, and living the life you deserve with celebrity fitness trainer and longevity enthusiast, Ted Rice. Now, back to the show. So I got to come clean with you. I feel like I haven't been being honest, or at least as honest as I can be. And to remedy this, I want to share with you, I want to take you behind the scenes of my coaching program and share with you the number one strategy that I use to get my clients life-changing results when it comes to their health and body. I want to share with you exactly what I have my clients do, the most powerful strategy that I have my clients do. So if you feel like you've been starting and stopping with your health fitness journey and you keep falling off track and then it takes you a while to get back on, this is going to be a game changer for you. So what is up, my friend, and welcome back to the show. If you're just tuning in for the first time, I'm your host, Ted Rice. I'm a health coach, a leading health coach, number one health coach even, to executives, entrepreneurs, and other high performers. And as I said, I want to share with you something that revolutionized my clients' results. So I've been in this business for 23 years. And over these past few decades, past couple of decades, I've noticed a trend. Some clients... They learn what they need to learn, they do what they need to do, and they're able to sustain it. And then you have other clients who they'll learn what they need to learn, they'll do what they need to do, but then they get busy. Or then they step on the scale and it doesn't show them the number that they're expecting. They get a case of the fuckets where something else happens. They move, they change careers, go through a divorce even, and their health and fitness, not only does it go on the back burner, it goes in reverse. The weight comes on and then some. So all the weight they lost, they regained. The workouts that they were doing become a distant memory. And as I've watched people struggle over the years, because obviously, you know, you see the people who kill it, you want to know, okay, what, what's really working for you here? Why have you been able to do this when other people haven't been able to? And by studying the successful people and, and more importantly, paying attention to the people who keep falling off and figuring out, okay, well, what, what happened to you? Why'd you fall off? And some people, they even got it. They felt like they got it and then they fell off. And this is something it's tortured me. <laughs> Maybe that's a too strong of a word, but it's kept me up at night wondering what the hell is going on and how can I help solve this problem. And after a lot of talking to clients, watching clients, seeing their consistency, seeing them succeed, seeing them fall off and not get back on or take years to get back on, I figured out a little something. And it's this. I know you're expecting me to say, well, here's this new workout. It's just, it just crushes. It just gets results faster than anything possible or this new diet, or maybe a combination of diet and exercise, but that ain't it. The major change we've made to our program that's had a dramatic impact on client results is getting them to commit for longer amounts of time, getting them to look at their behavior in the past. It's like, okay, so this is something that you've been struggling with for years and you want to fix it in three months. Very unlikely to happen. And so now when I get a person who really needs to change, I get them to commit. And when I say commit, because some people are like, no, I'm committed. Uh-uh. How are you committed? If you've fallen off, if this is your, if this is your new year, new you, if, if this is your fresh start, if 20, 
22 is your fresh start and last year was your fresh start, but oh, COVID, but 2020 was a fresh start, but oh, this other thing happened and then COVID and what happened in 2019? What happened in 2018? Because if you have a series of fresh starts and start overs, and this is going to be my best year, then what you have is a habit of letting yourself off. You've developed a habit of letting yourself off. What you really lack here is commitment and the grit to see it through. The best thing you can ever do for yourself to get something handled is commit to it. And when I say commit, I mean consequences if you don't do it. I've had some people in the past, we, we really try to screen for this now, but I've had some people in the past who would sign up to the program and then they disappear. Hasn't happened in a few years, but initially when we started, we had that. And I felt bad about it at first. I felt like, man, you know, this person paid. They're not even asking for a refund. They just disappeared. Maybe that's you and you, you're listening to this right now. I remember I had someone from Australia sign up to our coaching and then do an upsell to uh, a, a, like a, a one-on-one intensive with me. Never showed up for it after. And we reached out to him multiple times. And what I've learned is people have got to put something on the line. And for most of us, it's money. And w- even when it doesn't happen, you learn something from that experience. Oh, you don't like the sound of that, do you? But the problem is human beings, that's the way we're wired. If you put money down, it means you got to follow through or you got to take that loss. And if you've ever taken a loss because of investing in something and not following through, like, has, I, I mean, I've done this. <laughs> so I'm not... I'm not talking from my high horse here. I've done this. I've gone through this process. And I also want to share this with you because it can kind of, I, I, I try to avoid coming from the position of me talking down to you because some of you are way more successful. Most of you actually are way more successful than I am financially. I mean, we have some, some people who are crushing it in business. And so I have my area that I'm challenged with and that I have a lot of bad Uh, habits with. And that's my business. And I want to be clear about this. I don't mean the coaching aspect. I love the coaching. I love coaching clients. Probably how you you love certain aspects of some of the things that you do in your life. But guess what? I, I, I can't say I hate it anymore. But what I get frustrated with is the business building part. Oh man, that frustrates me. It's like, do the podcast, which I love doing. I love being here and talking to you, that, but uh, posting on social media and taking the podcast and then posting on social media, make sure you post across platforms, your Facebook group, your Twitter account, your Instagram. It's overwhelming. And not only that, you don't just put out content because content doesn't get people to sign up with you necessarily. You got to put out content that, that number one, helps people and gets their attention, but also lets them know you're open for business. So that, because the truth about a lot of the influencers out there, they're broke or or they'll have 100,000 followers, but they're not even making 10,000 a month. Man, frustrating. So you know what we did? Because we have big business goals. And when I say big business goals, I don't even just mean the money thing. Because we know how to make money, to be honest. It's it's like we want to make more money, but we want to do it serving our clients at a higher level. So we need people to help us create a new level of, of, of how we deliver or we need, to, we need help with how we're going to upgrade the delivery of our coaching so that more people get bigger impact from going through it. And also, we want to do it with less work, not more work. So that means we got to hire a team because right now, Giselle and I, we're like the, we're, we're like the co- well, I'm the coach. I'm also the content creator. I'm also the sales guy. I wear a lot of hats. And sometimes I'll go through like, oh, hop on a call, a sales call, a breakthrough call, 15 minute call, then hop on a coaching call. And now it's time to create some content and do a Facebook live or record a podcast. So what we've done so that we can build the team out so I can focus on my zone of genius, which is not hopping on calls with people who are interested in signing up to my program or like posting across multiple platforms. My zone of genius is 
creating content and coaching clients. I'm freaking world class at it, as I've said many times. And I'm not saying that from a place of ego, although there's some ego there. But it's but I put in the time. It's it's not that I'm confident because I'm competent. But when it comes to the other stuff, oh, it's so challenging. So what we've done, and Giselle has her own challenges, right? What we've done is we've committed twenty four thousand dollars for twelve months of business coaching, where these guys are going to help us not just with the strategies to stay on track, but when we fall off track, they're going to help us get back on track, get us clear on what we need to do again. And one of the things that throws us off in business is there's so many things to do. It's like, what do I need to focus on here? I'm, I'm like, I'm not clear anymore. I was laser focused, but now it's more like, a, I don't know what, a, like, it's more like just a, a bunch of, instead of laser focus, it's more like a laser light show. It's all over the place. And then when we talk to them, it's like, oh, well, what's your main problem here? Okay, here's how you solve the main problem. Now go do it. So we've committed $24,000 for 12 months of coaching. And what I'm trying to tell you here is that's my level of commitment to not just having a, a, making more money, but serving my clients better and having a team built out and not just having a team built out, having a well-run team so that my team is happy too. So I've got, an, I've got to go from being coach to CEO to leader. I don't know how to do that where I'm learning how to do that. But these guys know their team is amazing. And so I will not fail in my goal. It's not going to be another, well, maybe it's this year for me. No, it, it's been this. We've inve- ever since we started investing in business coaching, minus that one time, if you guys remember the time I spent 5K to go hang out with a dude for two and a half days. And he just, it was a lot of pep talk, but not a lot of like outline strategy. <laughs> And even then we learned, it was like 5K and I took a loan out to get it. Ugh. But I didn't give up. I, ca- I got back in. I found someone better and I invested more money. I invested 7,900 was 7,900. I paid it in full. I invested 20,000 last year for business coaching and paid that in installments, in case you're interested. And then this year, 24K. So I spent $50,000 in the past two years, or will by the end of 2022, I spent f- over fifty thousand dollars. Because I'm just remembering that last year wasn't 20k; it was 24k too. Seems to be the going price for 12 months of business coaching. And actually, that guy messed up. I know I'm kind of bouncing around here, but bear with me. That guy messed up last year, but he made it right and put us in a higher level group where we actually work directly with him. And now we're in a group where we directly work this new group. They're even running a tighter ship. And, and I guess what I'm trying to say here is it's a process. You got to commit the funds to it to make it happen. It's not going to happen just because you want it to and you feel motivated at the end of the year. Just look at your history. And that's what I had to do with growing my business. We had some months where we did okay, some months where we did great, some months where we didn't do so great at all. But now we get, now we crush it consistently. And it's not because of new year, new you. And it's not because all the free information, the blog posts, the podcast started getting into my brain finally. No, it's because I committed the money to making it happen. So I show up to my coaching calls and that's the level of commitment that you need. Because that we're, when we're talking about a high level of success in any of the three areas, if we're talking about having a successful family, whatever that means to you, it takes work. After the honeymoon, you realize after all the sex, and it starts to slow down a little bit because life, you know, you go back to work and things, it, it takes work. Relationships take work. It's about sitting down and communicating and saying the things you don't want to say sometimes being brave enough to communicate and be honest about how you're feeling and what your needs are takes work. Probably best done if you're struggling with it and don't have good parents who've modeled healthy relationships for you, probably best done with an expert, whether that's a relationship coach or a a relationship therapist. And if we're talking about business, people get business coaches. They commit to making it work. Now, some people don't. Because maybe they grew up and maybe they just have the knack for entrepreneurship. 
Maybe they just have the knack for relationships because they had healthy relationships model. Maybe for health and fitness, they, they grew up where those habits were modeled. So it was very easy for them. But if you're struggling in an area, like I'm struggling, my parents, my parents made good money, but they were both attorneys. They both overspent. They had horrible financial habits, even though they made a great income. My dad was making 300000 a year in the 80s when that was quite a, quite a lot of money, bought a lot of property. All of it went away. I mean, partly it was because of my, my story, but he never got financial advice, solid financial advice. He thought he was good in one area, so he'd be good in another. And it doesn't work that way. Just like if you want to do a triathlon just because you're a great runner, doesn't mean you're going to be great when you hop in the ocean and do the swim. You need specific training. And so to bring this back around to you and your health journey and getting it handled for good, commit to the time. Stop worrying about how long it's going to take you to get in shape. Because even if, if I were to snap my fingers or wave my magic wand and change your body, you would just fuck it up. How do I know that? Well, if you have a history of fucking it up in the past, the problem isn't that you don't have the results. The problem is your mindset. And your habits and the fact that you get triggered and drop everything and don't have the grit to see your goal through. Same thing with money, right? Same thing with relationship. Give you your soulmate, your perfect person. Why do you think, or, or, or with money, right? Why do you think so many lottery winners and professional athletes go broke? It wasn't the money. It was the mindset. It was the skills, how they looked at things. And that's a big problem with health too. Oh, I want the results. We're in living in this world where you one click Amazon order things, you Uber Eats so that you get hot food delivered right to you without doing anything. And then when it comes to something like fat loss, there's a little bit less control over the speed that it takes to achieve your goals. You're going to have to go through some ups and downs. Every single person, if I show you every successful person that I have in my coaching group ever that we have records for, it is not a straight line of success. It's ups and downs and ups and downs. And what we do with our coaching program is to help bring people back to center when they get triggered and feel like, oh, I'm doing these things and it's not fucking working. I'm doing everything right and it's not working. And it is working, but you need to be patient. And the truth is, and this is so unsexy, but it's the fucking truth. So I want you to pay attention is when you get triggered, it's about coming back on and, and getting back on the horse and going forward, getting back up off the ground, getting back on the wagon, whatever metaphor floats your boat. It's a lot of metaphors, not really expertly delivered, but you know what I'm talking about. That's the truth. Oh, I got on the scale. I didn't, I didn't like the number. I just wanted to give up. Cool. Don't give up. Get back on track. Easier said than done. That's why I have a coaching program. Uh, I went out with the boys last night. I was doing so well, but then I had the steak and then I drank the wine and the next, I didn't sleep that well. I went to, I went to my business, started working and yeah, I said, fuck it. And I went and ate pizza for lunch. Cool. Get back on track. Obviously that is not the strategy. I don't tough talk on coaching calls. But I ask questions and we go through a more, a different type of approach. But here I can't ask you questions because I don't, I'm not, we don't have this in, hopefully it feels like a conversation, but it really isn't, is it? What's also interesting is when I talk to my clients who are very successful in business, I say, well, why didn't you give up? Didn't you have some ups and downs? Didn't you have some time that, that you wanted to quit? It's like, yeah, of course. It sucked at certain parts. I'm like, why didn't you give up? Why didn't you just walk away? Well, and there's two reasons. One, they were totally committed. They wanted more money in their life. They wanted, or they wanted to work for themselves. And another is they had a commitment to the people involved. They had a commitment to their business partner or their employees. Because when you start hiring people, it's, you're working, you're working for yourself for sure, but you're, you're supporting people and people are relying on you. It's a big freaking deal. So you have this commitment. And so the, what I'm trying to get across to you here is when you have that same level of commitment, when you invest the same level of commitment, time-wise, emotionally, and financially, 
You will achieve the result instead of half-assing it and giving yourself an out and giving up every year, then starting every year or starting multiple times a year, then giving up multiple times a year, whatever your story is. This is so easy to fix. The path is so clear. It's just we don't want to do what it takes sometimes. But no, whenever you are ready to do what it takes, that path is available for you. Doesn't even have to be with me. It could be with someone else, but commit to it and commit to a longer amount of time than you think. Don't try to do it in the shortest amount of time. Commit to it. If you need to lose, I'll give you an example here. If you think you need to lose 10 pounds, you really need to lose 20 or 30. If you think you need to lose 40 pounds, probably need to lose 50, 60, or even 70. The other thing I'll tell you is I don't work with people with small goals. You don't need me to help you lose five or 10 pounds. If you just want to take the pressure off yourself a little bit and look a little bit better, that's not what coaching is for. And there's nothing wrong with that if you've got other areas of your life that need more work and you're just wanting to lose the five or 10 pounds, improve your health, maintain your health, having a small goal. You don't need coaching for that. Not a year or six months of coaching. But if you want to make a major change, if you have what you feel like is an impossible goal, it's so interesting. I'll ask my clients sometimes, what do you really want here? Oh, well, I just want to lose 20 pounds and you know, I'd be really happy with that. Yeah, but what is the big goal? What is the goal that you really want, but you kind of feel like it's impossible to achieve? And then now we get real. Then they tell me what they really want. I'm like, let's set that goal. Let's set smaller goals because I want you to feel like you, I don't want you to feel down if you don't hit it, but we can set some smaller goals. But what's the, the high heart goal? I'm going to need a little water here. What's that big goal? What's that impossible goal? You know, it's possible, but it just feels like it's impossible for you. And again, for me, that's growing my business to, like a, to what I shared with you earlier. And so I just committed literally today, made my first payment of 2K today, my first payment of 12 payments of 2K, 24K. I don't recommend finding the first person that you could go throw money at to help you solve your problem. But I knew these guys were it because I had <laughs> I had that terrible experience with the 5K episode. And then I had a better experience paying 24000 last year. But they kind of messed up. I had a coach that wasn't very good. And uh, the person who was running the business was amazing, but we weren't working with him. We were working with another coach, not really getting access to their team like we needed. And it was very frustrating. And again, the guy made it right by putting him, we, we got put in another coaching uh, business, uh, not business, coaching um, program with him at a higher level. But these people, man. Their team is on fire. So when you find that right person, don't think, go, go put the money down. The money, if you achieve your impossible goal, you're, gonna look, you're not going to look back in 20 years and go, man, you know, I spent too much money to change my life. You're not going to say that. You're going to even have more money. You're going to have more fulfillment. You're going to have more enjoyment. So when you find that right person, whoever that is for you, hey, I hope it's me. But if it isn't, I want you to find the person who works for you. Commit, put money down, be held accountable, and you will achieve your impossible goal. That's all I got for you. Hope this was inspiring. Think about what the big takeaway is. Have an amazing weekend. And I care about you a lot. I tough talk sometimes, but I want you to know it's from the heart. I want the best for you. I really want you to succeed. So that's all I've got. Speak to you Monday. Enjoy yourselves. And on Monday, I'm going to talk about why everything you know about fitness is wrong. And listen, I know what you're thinking right now. You've been in the gym for years. You're in great shape. You're strong. You're physically fit, except are your joints achy? What's your resting heart rate? Is it in the 40s? 50s? Is your blood pressure high? Do you feel like crap a lot of the times, even though you get into the gym and push it to the limit? Well, if the answer is yes, then it's time to take a hard look about what you think you know about how to work out properly. So tune in on Monday to find the truth and learn how to be health driven instead of intensity driven with your exercise program. Have an amazing weekend and I'll speak to you then.